Alright guys, so today is just a video over how I'm actually studying with the French Clep book um, and how that's actually working. I think this is actually probably the best way to actually, once you have a base of the language down, to really study exactly what's going to be on the test. So now with, with the language test, if you actually look at it, there it's broken into a few different sections. Now this first section right here is listening, and so you're not going to be able to have the actual listening part of it, but what it does give you in the book is the written part, which is very important. So, um, so that is more basic because you're going to have to listen to it. Now the reading portion is where it gets really difficult. Um, with this video, I'll just go through each portion just so you can really understand what All I mean. Alright, so here's just a sample one. Um, so it is, the man says, Où as-tu passé tes vacances l'année dernière? Which is, where did you have your vacation? I think it's last year, or it's either last year or next year. Um, so the options are, uh, for A, it's, I prefer uh, vacation of... I don't really know what that word is, so I don't really understand. So what typically I'll do is, so if I don't understand a word, what I will actually do is I will basically circle it. That was a terrible circle, but I'll circle it and then I'll look it up after I'm done with the thing. And then I'll record it and make flashcards off of that. Um, then the next one is, je suis allé in Angleterre, which means I am going to England. So I'm assuming that dernier is next year then. Uh, C is, je passé l'examen de entry. Uh, I passed the entry examination, so that doesn't make any sense. And then, je veux y aller l'année prochaine. Um, I want to go um, next year, which is just kind of weird. Um, so yeah, basically you have these options. Um, easy one to remove overall is definitely C and D, so now I have it between A and B, which makes it a lot easier. Um, always narrow down your options if you can, highly recommend that. Um, but so for this one, I'm going to go with je, je suis allé en Angleterre. Um, and then if you flip back a few pages, um, they'll have the answer key right there. So three is B and B is je suis allé en Angleterre. So that's the first section, and then I will move to each. Also keep in mind that those are um, in, uh, these are all voice things. These are not things that you can actually read and like go through the words. So you really have to pay attention when they're reading them to you. Um, so then this section is a passage. So you have a narrator talk, a man talk, a woman talk, man talk, a woman talk, and they go back and forth. And then you basically have to answer these questions here. From that, so let's see if I can do this. Um, selection numéro two, du personne c'est parlant. So the narrator says, this is selection number two, two, two people are talking. Uh, so I actually mess up a lot of, of the, uh, the French here. Um, but yeah, basically what it says Robitaille. is, I what is your job, that. Madame Robitaille? Um, uh, she says engineer, she's an engineer and engineer, chemist, chemist to chemist, the guy. Monsieur, and then he says, why do you want to change uh, uh, professions? And means. yeah. Um, then she basically says that she wants to try something new. Companies. And then she says, I prefer, I, per, I prefer to work for a big company and I would, um, I don't know, avoir for some reason. I, I know it, I've read it before, but I don't know it right now. Um, I would like to, I guess, take on more responsibilities or have more responsibilities. Yeah, it's have. <clears throat> um, and so then you go to the next question. So there, um, <clears throat> où s'est trouvé ton? Which is um, basically where are they? Uh, and the first one is in a in an office uh, of placement. So I'm I don't know office of placement, but based off of that. So the next one is in a restaurant, um, in a fashion boutique, and then in a uh, travel agency. So the first one. Placement agency seems the most reasonable because they're looking for a job. Uh, so I would actually go with that one specifically. So there we go. And then that is 15. So I'm going to go back to that page. And 15 is A. 
Yep. And so that's going to be for the most of the listening section. So then you have more like this. I'm pretty sure, as far as I remember with the German one, that I can repeat these ones and I can have them talk again. Um, but if I, if, I, if I can't, then I basically um, just have to pay attention to every little detail that I can find and answer these questions for these longer passages here. Um, and then we'll move on to the reading right. section. So the first part of this is grammar based. So this is uh, an example question, I guess. Um, so yeah, in in Normandy, the apple something are <clears throat> all falling something. So falling Basically, it's the first one is writing, second one is earth, third one is airplane, and the fourth one, I don't know exactly what it means, but based off of the context, I'm going to go with terre, meaning earth. Let's go back to 33, and 33 is B, so that is terre, and so that one is correct. Later on, the grammar part starts going a little more grammar-based and less context-based. So, like, just for this example, quand j'étais enfant, je dorais blank animu. So, that means when I was a child, I love mm, animals. Um, and so, I'm going to guess that it's D apostrophe, B. And what number is that? 46. Uh, and I was wrong. It's, it's C. Oh, le anima. Okay, so um, yeah, that one's incorrect. But that one is le. Um, I love the animals because um, they would be some animals. So uh, I just got to be careful with this section just to make sure that my grammar is up to par and that I know <laughs> where I need to go with my grammar. But it'll go through each part of the paragraph with all the different blanks. Throughout the whole okay, place. and as far as I remember, this is the part of the test that I wanted to definitely spend the most time on, which basically it has these little articles or uh, passages like that one, and you're going to have to read these passages and go through them. Now, it's not just that they're passages, and if you speak any amount of French, you can tell that a lot of these words are harder um, than the words early on. Um, just looking at it now, uh, de um, that's a word I have literally never heard of, veracité. I'm going to guess mostly based off of context what a lot of these are. Um, but to help study for the exam, I'm actually going to go through all of these, the entire entirety of the test, and any word, any phrase that I don't understand at all, I'm going to write it down and make a quizlet out of it, and I'm going to just study every single one of them. Whether that word's actually gonna end up on the test or not, it doesn't really matter, but it does really, really help me in this section here. Um, and yeah, and so you just have a lot of these paragraphs, and it's the majority of the test points, so. Yeah. So yeah, that is all, guys. Um, I don't really know what else to say specifically um besides I, I think this is something that can really help you out um anyway if you like this video like it subscribe if you're new and uh stay tuned to see how i pass whether i pass the the french exam